Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Autry versus Martin. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Autry, you say the defendant is taking advantage of your son by pinning a baby on him, and you have physical proof that her two-year-old daughter, Skyla, is not your grandchild. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Martin, you claim that the plaintiff is a monster-in-law and is denying your daughter only because she doesn't like you. You need help and hope to get some once the results are revealed. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Autry, why do you feel Ms. Martin is taking advantage of your son? Well, she entrapped my son by marrying him, by giving him things uh, like money, <laughs> um, clothes, car, you name it, she give it to him. And she just want a man to call on because she ain't nothing but old tramp. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Let's you, let, let, let's use respectful language. I want to understand this. You say, you say she entrapped him, but she's giving him money. She's doing this. For what? To what end? What does she want she from want him? She want a man of her own. She want really? a man of her own. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Ma really? Why would you say that, Ms. Because you do, Ms. Tramp. Oh, see how... Ms. Ms. Your Honor, Ms. Audrey, come saying. on. Let's, let, let's, let's, wanna... let's be respectful. Let's I don't respectful. like her. Why you want to disrespect the mother of your grandchild? You don't have to like her, but you can use though. respectful language. I'm not the that? mother of my grandchild. Okay, you're Where right. I'm from, they call me Queen DNA. So until I get a DNA test to prove that's my grandbaby, I am not accepting the responsibility for no baby. That's not none of mine. But she was claiming her at first, though, Ms. Audrey. All right, hold on. Let, let me come to you, Ms. Martin, because I want to understand this. She says you entrapped her son. Did you do that? No, no, you Were you honor. buying him cars and all these things, giving him money and all of this? He did the same for me in return. Okay, he so... He didn't have no job for he did the same for in return. He, he did the no same. Job. He don't even work. He did the same thing, Miss Archie. No, he didn't. He don't yes, even he have did. a job. Yes, he did, Miss No, Archie. he didn't. You know this. Well, you how know he get it. the money? Because he ain't had no you job. You know it. Okay, let's talk, talk one at a time so we understand this. What was the nature of the relationship between you and Miss Autry's son? That's my husband. That's your hu Oh, yes, your husband. My husband. So and he's I still your husband. Getting married yes, to you. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Cause okay. I got a phone call. Job getting married down the street from my house. So I walk. I was on my way walking down there to start the marriage. And my friend, as while I was going, I told her to go start the she wedding. She tried to stop the wedding. When I got dropped off down, she tried to stop the wedding. Moved way too close so we can get married to him. She tried to stop the I wedding. Miss sure Autry, I missed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> she tried. She okay, tried to stop wait a minute. <laughs> And look, you can't talk that fast, then turn to the side. I can't even read your <laughs> lips. I felt like I was at an auction or something. Like that. I was like, what? Okay. I was raising my hand. What? <laughs> you was about was to busy. bid? Yeah. <laughs> well, let me explain it to you again, No, Your but Honor. no, really. Explain to me what's going on. I got a phone on. call that she was getting married down the street from my house. So I got out of my bed and I started walking down the street to where she was getting married at. A friend seen me walking and she offered me a ride. How did you find out she, she was crazy. getting married? Someone called me and told me. Your that... son didn't tell you? No. No, he didn't tell me. me. He didn't want me to know because he know I would have stopped, stopped it. it. Okay, and you got that call, you were in the bed, then you did what? I got up, I got dressed, and I started walking up the street and a friend seen me walking and she said, where are you going? And I said, to stop this wedding. So she gave me a ride and she dropped me off. So I'm up there trying to stop the wedding and they take her crazy. And to another location where they can get married. Oh, they have to... You have to move locations <laughs> because of Miss Autry? She's crazy, Your Honor, yes. That's exactly what happened. So She's what crazy. happened? She comes to the wedding and yes. what do you say at the wedding? They didn't even get to do it. She jumped in another we car left. and they took her to Oak Cliff to we get left. married. So you all left your own wedding venue... Yes, Your Honor. ...and moved to a different location. She's crazy, Your Honor. But Your you Honor. all ended up getting married on that day anyway. Yes, Your in Honor. In another location. Yes, Your Honor. Did your whole wedding party follow you? Now yes, I'm curious. <laughs> yes, they did. But uh, with Miss Autry trailing behind, well, I don't get how that worked. <laughs> I didn't have no choice. I ain't had no car. If I'd had a car, I'd have went right on behind them. <laughs> and there wouldn't have been no way. She's crazy, Your Honor. So One, you've never cared for Miss Martin? It ain't so much as I never cared for Miss Martin. It's just that she has been very disrespectful from She's day one. She's the same I way. I mean, what do you want me to do? You disrespect me all the time. Well, you came into my home and disrespected me. But you disrespected me first, Miss Oh, Archie. no, 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 no. You kept disrespecting you did it. me. You kept you disrespecting me. You came to my house you never and told me you was pregnant. I told respect. you you was lying. Wait, one at a time. I want to I hear how this started. Miss Autry, you say 
Go ahead. She told me that she was pregnant, and I told her she was lying because my son had been gone for a while, and he came back, and she said that she was didn't have intimate with him the first week he was at home, and I went to the hospital where she was. I was put at the hospital because I told her that's not my grandbaby. So I thought I had a baby early, she didn't and come I want to DNA test. Me. I wasn't in labor. I was actually in pain. It was it was false labor. She okay, came it was up false there. labor. So you came that's up right. there mm-hmm. and you told her this is not my grandchild. And what else did you say? I told her, the lady at the desk came in there and told him I can't bring her talking to her like that. She was uh, probably saying was that he wasn't out. the father. So, well, my son is not your baby father. Yes, he so is. So, hold on. I want to know what happened at the hospital. Plan. So, once she came in, you were in pain. Baby. Hold on. Once you came in, you were in pain. Miss Autry said, this isn't my child. Somebody came in and said, if you keep acting up, we're going to put you out. What happens, Miss Martin? They put her out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't stop acting up? No. No, no she honor. crazy, Your Honor. What was she doing? She was acting crazy. She was out in the hospital saying, that ain't none of my son's uh, baby. That ain't none of my son's baby. You lying. You lying. So, Miss Autry, you said that's not my grandchild instantly. Yes. She don't have the toes like my son. Yes, his she toes does. Crawl, yes, his she does. big toe is here and his this toe next they to the overlap. Toe, it crawls over like that. And I have proof, Your Honor, that he is that is not his baby because her toes don't do that. Yes, they do, and she Your don't Honor. Have thick eyebrows as me and my son and my daughter have. She's so too. I know they that's not my son's yet. baby. I mean, they grew. All up. right, uh, let me see this evidence. Like the baby's supposed to come out with full blown eyebrows. <laughs> you act like she's supposed to come out with full blown eyebrows. She do. No, she does. He did. All right. This is so, John. this, this, uh, evidence, Miss Autry, you Look said the, the baby's toes don't cross over. Look at nope, the, they don't yes, they do. like Look this. At the, Look at the right foot. That little right yes. one is kind of hedging over, though. Yes, exactly. But ain't right over there. That's not exactly. His baby. It's got to be fully crossed. Yes, ma'am. See, only two. I mean, okay. give it time. The toes got to grow. <laughs> Let them develop first. <laughs> They look like, like right big old toes. She has toes like Miss Archer as well. They have little feet. My toes don't... You want to see my toes? Your feet are little, Miss Archer. <laughs> my daughter has feet like her family. Miss Archer has small feet and so does my baby. So the baby doesn't have crossed toes. And what else is your doubt? It doesn't have eyebrows. Don't have the eyebrows. And my son has girly eyelashes and she don't have those. They either. haven't grew yet. She's only two. Let her develop in her own way. I mean... When you look at this beautiful baby, you just don't feel like this is your grandchild. You don't see the resemblance. Now, no, are, are you saying this, Miss Autry? Let me just ask you this. Are you saying this because you just don't care for Miss Martin? Or are you saying this because you really have doubt? I really she have doubt. She doesn't care for me. Okay. For me. If that's my grandbaby, that's I would take her is. and love her the way I do the other six you don't that do, I have. You don't do the other baby like that that I have. Well, you I don't. did it first, but I found out she was mine too. You don't do they that. They call me Queen I call DNA. Her I'm and ask, DNA test I call her and ask her because she babysit my girl. child. Oh, they call you Queen DNA because you're going to do a DNA test on every baby your son has. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I yes, thought ma'am. I was Queen DNA, Jerome. <laughs> 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 Guess not. <laughs> anyway, so, Ms. Martin, has your husband accepted the baby or does he have doubts? No, he doesn't have any doubts. It's her. And she hasn't even... Tried to bond with the baby, so of course you're gonna think she's not yours. Why would you I haven't bond tried with the baby? Let's not know for you a fact. It's tried to my get son. To know her. Had I had but the mother, did my own year... DNA Wait, test to make she's sure. She's two years old. But she's not my son. Look at her eyebrows. Have you ever asked her, will you watch Skylar? Will you take care of Skylar? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, if they go to the no, club, they gotta pay to get in the club, they gotta pay for their drink, they gotta pay to park, so they're gonna but pay to get in the club. But that's not why. Oh, okay. That's not why. That's not why. I heard that. That's, that was doing the... That's on the weekend. I asked her during the week so that I could work. That's well, you before gotta I got... Well, you got to got day curve. before I got day curve. But what you said what was you was gonna help me with her. You said no, you was I gonna help. I did not say that. Yes, you did. I if I get a DNA yes, test. You know, I said I give you a discount of $50 a week that I will watch her. But why do I have to... Wait, have to you said, Miss Audrey, you gonna give her a discount of $50 a week. Yes, ma'am. As long as she can prove with DNA that that's your grandchild. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'd like to hear from your witness. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Rebecca Cooper, Your Honor. Miss Cooper, you are Miss Autry's daughter. Yes, ma'am. Look at her eyebrows. <laughs> Look how eyebrows. old she is, though. My daughter's two years old. She's 30. So there's a big difference there. So do you believe this beautiful baby, Skyla, is your niece? She is my brother baby. I was there when she was born. That's my baby. And you have a very close bond with her. Yes, ma'am. Every week. That's she loves baby. babies. That's my brother baby. 
I mean, if your daughter is bonded with her and your son said that's his daughter, why? what is your problem? Because you told him it wasn't none of his. Okay. You don't tell no Everyone man that Everyone makes even mistakes. If he now, let's, get to, let's get to that. You told him, your husband, that this was not his child? Yes, Your Honor. I was trying to hurt him. He left me to go be with another woman and I was trying to hurt him like he hurt me. Let's be clear. Did you sleep with another man? Yes, Your Honor. You did? Prior to him coming back into my life, yes. August 2013, and he came back into my life in 2014, June. And she was already pregnant. No, All right. No, Is there any chance that man could be Skyla's biological father? No, Your Honor. Yes. No. It's All right, well, son. that man is in court today. Ooh. Jerome, I'd like to hear from him. Will you please escort Mr. Gott into the courtroom? Yes. I'm gonna have you go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Mr. God, thank you for joining us today. How you doing? We're here discussing the paternity of baby Skyla, and I have to ask you, do you believe you are Skyla's biological father? Yes, ma'am. You do? Yes, ma'am. And your no, honor, he's not. That's her ex-boyfriend, my daughter's. Wait a minute now. Miss Cooper, this is your ex-boyfriend? Yes, your honor. That was a mistake, your honor. So, Miss Martin, you slept with your sister-in-law's boyfriend? Yes, now who paid you, Your Honor? <laughs> that was before, Your Honor. That was a mistake. How did that happen? When my husband, no, when my husband was away, Your Honor, he was, you know, doing a lot of different things with other women, and I was emotional. So you all aren't together anymore? No, ma'am. I believe she's my brother's daughter because she looked just like my other niece. My brother said that's his child, so that's what I'm going with. Hold on, but Mr. God said he believes he's the biological he's crazy. father. He's crazy. She probably told him to say that. So, me know. and him crazy. Both of y'all crazy. So, Mr. God, how did you get a notion that this could be your child? Because we had sex unprotected. You had sex unprotected, and you believe it was different. in the window of conception? Yes, ma'am. No, it wasn't. That baby did she ever me. tell you you are the father? Once, when we was on the phone. When you were on the phone? Yes. What did she say? Uh, you know, she was just telling me, like, it's a possibility that the baby could be mine. She could be here. Look at his I eyebrows. Look at her me. eyebrows. <laughs> the only thing wrong with him, he got lazy eyes. She doesn't, she she got, doesn't look eyes. like him at all. That's the only thing wrong she with him, She doesn't Your Honor. look like him, Your Honor, no. Do you know Skylar? Do you have a relationship no. with Skylar? No, Your Honor. You don't? No. But in your heart, you've been thinking, I I'm this child's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. She told him to say that. I slept with him in August 2013, Your Honor. My husband, when he came back into my life, that was June 2014. You was already pregnant. No, I wasn't. Yes, she no, was. I wasn't. No, no, I wasn't. She Your doesn't Honor, want Skylar to be her granddaughter. Me, That's what the problem is. When she finally showed me a sonogram, it was of a little pea, about that tiny. And a baby is not gonna be that tiny. I need help, Your Honor. You it's say you need help. I need help. I need help with my, my kids. Don't look this way, because I'm not helping, because not... Well, she's not mine. You say plainly, I need help. You mean financial help, emotional support... Uh, Emotionally, it's Child tough. care, everything. Child care. She has other siblings that she wants to be around. They want to be around their other siblings, and this is like the glue. So, Ms. Autry is the glue that bonds everyone. Yes, ma'am. And Skyla is not welcome, and that hurts you. Yes, Your Honor. So, do you invite oh. Miss Autry to Skyla's birthday? I invited her holiday? to the birthday, yes. She came, but she sat way across the room. When I get a DNA test to prove that Skyla is my grandbaby, I fit her in like the rest of them. But if I got a babysit, That's I still true. gotta get paid. That's not true. I'm not in no free daycare. She doesn't care for me. That's what the real problem here. Um, I think, honestly, at this time, we've... We've heard enough, and I, I can see how we arrived in this place. The question now is, how do we move forward? And I think we do that with the results. Jerome, the envelope, please. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Autry versus Martin, pertaining to whether Mr. Martin or Mr. Gott is the father of two-year-old Skyla Martin. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Martin. I'll take that for 200, Your Honor. I told you. I told you. 
You are the grandmother, Miss Autry. I need your help. Can I get an apology? No. I do apologize to Scholar, but not to her. I'll accept that. And it's I will all about accept Scholar into the my house. At the family. end of the day, you all are family through no, these children. I'm scholar family. No, the I'm point is your family her. through the children. Well, no, because it's your daughter-in-law. Your son's no, still not. married to her. As long as she accepts my child, because that's what it's all about. I don't care. You all, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, it's your son's wife. You're going to have to learn how to deal with one another for the baby. Yes, the way you treat her mother will be a direct reflection in her own mind and in her own heart of her worth. If you don't value the mother, you cannot expect her to believe she's valuable. It's just about respect and decorum. And you all can do that. I want you to take advantage of the counseling and resources, and I want you to take care of that beautiful little girl. Thank you. I wish you all the very best. Court is Thank adjourned. You. Thank you.